Welcome back to Sunday League Football and in a season that's been dominated by cup matches, finally we get a fixture in the league, Banana. So today we face up to a team that we played a couple of times pre-season in a tournament and of course in the charity match, it's Chafford Park Athletic. 15 players available today so let's check out a team lineup. And in between the sticks today we've got our number one goalkeeper Sean, we've got a back three of Super Dan, Jamie and Graham. Left wing back we've got Nolsey, right wing back we've got Sam and in the centre we've got Kev and Kieran. Just ahead of them we've got Connor in the cam position and then up top today we've got Toogood and Michael. Available to come off the bench today, we've got the likes of Wayne, Waza, Liam and Nick. So as you can see, we've been blessed with one of the best surfaces in Sunday League football. Then we've got our captain, Jamie, loving the fact that he can do fancy flicks over two goods kids' head, a few handshakes, and of course a very kind man going by the name of Troy is helping us out with the line today. Hello, Troy. Hello, Deli Ali. So I think everyone's ready. It's time to kick off. And so the first chance of the game comes from Tugu playing the ball out wide to Michael here. He looks to take on number 16, which he does. He fires it with the right, but that goes wide of the goal. At the other end, it's number 10 that's playing the ball into the middle to where number 9 is. His touch is heavy and Graham gets the ball off of him. It falls to Kieran, who sticks the ball out to this near side where Knowles is overlapping and he's got plenty of space to run into here as nobody's putting him under pressure. He eventually looks up and plays the ball onto the edge of the box here to where Michael is. His touch is finds Connor, who shoots first time with the right, but that goes over the bar. Is Sam getting the ball under over that far side as he puts it into the box. Number 5 gets a too good here, but it's only as far as Nolsey. The defenders are running very quickly, so he plays the ball back to Kev as he's under pressure from number 10. Nice little turn from him to get past him. Cuts inside a number two as well as he makes his way into the box. He shoots, but that's blocked. The loose ball's cleared by our opponents, but only as far as Kieran on the edge of the box here. He takes a touch, looks up, fires the ball, comes off of the defender and over the bar for a corner. Corner's whipped in by Nolsey on that far side and on the end of it is Kieran, but once again, that's over the bar. The goal kick's taken and it's headed on to where number nine is on the halfway line. He turns, looks out wide to where number four is. The ball goes over Dan's head and now number four's got a bit of a job to keep the ball in. He does well here as he looks up, puts the ball into the box. That's missed by Graham, falls to 15, hits it first time, but that's wider the goal. Here's Graham now picking the ball up and playing it out from the back to where Nolsey is in the centre here. He's under pressure straight away from number 10 and he loses out as number 10 gets away, fires it first time and that goes past Sean into the back of the net and we find ourselves 1-0 down. We certainly had the chances to go 1-0 up but we didn't take them and now we're picking the ball out the back of the net. Kick off. Here's Dan now playing the ball up to Jamie. No pressure on him whatsoever. Our opponents are sitting very, very deep as he gives it to Connor. Connor's not got too much on either as he plays the ball into Jamie. Jamie sees sight of goal. He fires it but that goes wide of the post. Here's Kev now spotting a gap in Chafford Park Athletics defence but number two's quick to get back and get the tackle in on Michael. The loose ball falls to Connor who sees the keeper off the line. He falls over as it could be bouncing over him but the defender's there to head it off the line. Kieran now in the middle of the park putting a ball out to this near side where Nolsey is. He gets it under control. Looks up. Plays the ball into the box. No one's there to stick a boot on it and it's eventually cleared by our opponents but only as far as Sam who gets it under. He shoots but that narrowly goes over the bar. Throwing from Super down on this near side which is headed straight back to him. He puts it over the top to where Michael is but the defender headers it out and that goes out for a corner. Michael now whipping this one in towards the far post. Kieran's on the end of that one but that goes wide. It's been chance after chance in this game and it's slowly becoming a frustrating one as Connor puts the ball out wide to Nolsey here. Now I'm not too sure if this is a cross or a shot but it looks to be sailing top corner. Oh. First of all, fantastic save because that's going straight in the top corner. But yeah, second of all, that must have hurt. The game was stopped for about 10 minutes as the blood was cleared from his head, but eventually he got himself up and carried on with the game. Kieran now winning headers in the middle of the park like he normally does. The ball falls to Connor on the halfway line. He's under pressure here as both players go down, but the loose ball falls to Nolsey. He then plays it up to Michael who gets it under control, plays it back inside to Nolsey who gets past number two here, but his touch is heavy and the keeper's off his line quickly to collect the ball. Here come Chafford Park now as they play the ball forward, but that's cut out by Sam, given to Kieran as he looks to go forward, but he's tackled from behind and that's a free kick. Graham with a free kick sending it into the box is headed out by our opponents but only as far as Nolsey who gets out muscled by number nine here. The loose ball is picked up by Kev who sticks it over the top to Sam who's running around the back of the defence. He gets there, puts it into the box. On the end of it is Kieran but his control falls to Michael. He volleys it but it comes off the defender and out for a corner. The corner's whipped in by Michael but unfortunately that comes to nothing and after the earlier clash with the post it looks like the keeper's time in this game is now up. The fair play to him for lasting as long as he did. So it's a change of keeper for our opponents and now we crack on with the game and having looked back at this it should have been a goal kick but instead the keeper drop kicks it up to our opponents here as it falls to number nine he then plays it through to number 10 and it's a terrible attempt at playing the offside trap didn't work out at all here as number 10 makes his way through slots it under Sean and into the back of the net and now we find ourselves two nil down it's slowly turning into one of those days kick off in fact you know what it definitely is turning into one of those days Here's Mike now keeping the ball in on this near side. He looks to play it up to Kieran, but it's cut out by number two. Number two now makes his way forward and finds himself in a 50-50 with Kev. 
I don't think Kev's happy with that tackle. He's up, he's down, he's back up again, and now he's back down. I mean, studs to the fire, never going to be a pretty thing. But come on, Kev, you didn't hit your head on the post, did you? Oh. Anyway, the free kick was taken. It eventually fell to Tugu, who lost out to number two, and that's half time. So whilst we work out what the hell happened in that first half, let's give you an advert. You've seen the games, you've seen the goals, you've seen the action, but it's now time to follow us on the socials. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, you know it makes sense. It was an inspired half-time team talk, but long story short, sort it out. Kick off. And so we start things off with Kev, who's been struggling a bit, but he's decided to carry on for as long as he possibly can. He gives it to Connor. He then plays it out wide to where Jamie is. As usual, our midfielders have got space to run into as he plays it up to Too Good. Too Good plays it back inside to Jamie. He fires it with the right, but that goes over the bar. I could actually call this video over the bar. Anyway, it's not long at all before we make a double substitution. Kev's done for the day. So is Sam. And on come Liam and Wazza. And so Wazza's first bit of action is to throw the ball into Kieran, who knocks it down for Michael. He sees Kieran in space as he plays it through him. Nutmeg's number two here. Puts it into the box, comes off a number 15, he puts it straight back again. Michael with the acrobatics, but it's blocked by the defender and eventually cleared from there. Was I getting involved again now as he plays the ball inside to Michael? Michael lets it run through his legs, confusing number 14. Are they tights? I think they're tights. As he plays it out to Jamie. Jamie then plays it up to Nolsey. He then picks it up, takes a touch, looks up, puts it into the box, and on the end of it is Kieran. Yes. Now we're going, get that ball and let's get some more. Kick off. And I must point out in amongst that, Nick has come on for Connor, who's got a bit of a groin injury. He joins too good up top and Michael drops back into centre midfield. And here he is now receiving a throw from Jamie on the turn. No pressure at all as he's allowed to play the ball up to too good. It's a touch from too good and then played through to Nick, who's onside one-on-one -on -one with the keeper, but the keeper's quick off the line to collect the ball. Here's Kieran and Michael combining in the centre of midfield to get the ball off number six. Michael then pings a ball out wide to Nolsey. Nolsey gets the ball under here as he looks to drive forward, but number five is holding him up and stopping him from getting around him he eventually cuts the ball back onto the edge of the box and that's cleared by number 13. It's over Kieran's head but Michael's there to get it past number six here as he takes one touch lines it up fires with the right but the keeper's there to make the save. Here's a rare chance for our opponents now as number 10 plays it through. Dan's in a bit of a foot race here but Sean's quickly off of his line to clear any danger. Here's number six in the middle of the park looking to bring it forward he's under constant pressure from Michael the ref don't like it he blows up for a free kick. I'm not even being biased here it's one of the softest free kicks I've ever seen given but this is how you switch off. Well, that's a hat-trick for number 10 there, and if we didn't let ourselves down with a first-half performance, we certainly have there. Not good enough, boys. Not good enough. Kick off. Here we've got a frame on this near side from Graham, which is headed on by number 15, picked up by number 8, who sends it forward. He's over everyone's head, and Jamie looks to be able to deal with this pretty easily, but number 4 is putting him under pressure here. He looks to turn inside. It hasn't worked for him. Number 4 gets the ball, shoots, but that goes over the bar. Another warning. Sean takes the goal kick up the field to nobody, because no one's challenging number 8 here. He's headed down to number 14, who plays it into 15. His control's a bit heavy, and Graham clears that one, but we're left watching as the ball's headed back out to number 8 here. He then gets it under and plays it up to number 14, who chests it down. Down for number 15. 15 flicks it past Dan. 14's in. Fires with a left. What we basically need to do here, guys, is all come together and move on from it as if it never happened. We all make mistakes, but when it's a keeper, it's very costly. Head up, Sean. Keep going, mate. Can we just end the video now? All right, kick off. So 2-0 down isn't always the worst thing in the world. You get yourself a goal and momentum can carry you forward. We got that momentum, but didn't take our chances and suddenly we find ourselves 4-1 down. Heads drop, things don't go your way and suddenly you can't wait for the final whistle. But if there's any youngsters out there that find themselves in the same situation, the game's gone, just have a bit of pride and put a bit of fight in. Take Wazirir, for example. He's just come on and wants to prove a point and it's a fantastic tackle to win the ball back. It's with Liam now, as he plays it up to Nick. Nick then manages to get round the slide tackle of number two as he brings the ball forward, looks into the box, plays it in with the right. It flies past too good into Kieran, fires with a left, the keeper's rooted, the ball's in the back of the net, ladies and gentlemen, it's now 4-2. With only five minutes to go, you can never say never. Kick off, Liam now with a throw in on this near side, up to Mike, nice little cut back from him to get away from his man. Under pressure, he's made to go across the field and he does just that as he passes it to Jamie. It's a first time ball from him, up to Kieran. He touches it first time over the top to too good. It's a little bit too far, but too good puts the defender under pressure, passes it back to the keeper. It's not the best of clearances from him and it's picked up by Nolsey. Nolsey dinks it full to Nick on the edge of the box. He heads it forward for Too Good. He's then got space to cross and he does just that and it's a diving header from Kieran. Yes. Yes. That's right, Andrew. Yes. It's just like I said, ladies and gentlemen, put a bit of fight in and a bit of belief and you'll get your rewards. Hat trick for Kieran. Well done, that man. Kick off. 
Literally a couple of minutes left as Waza takes this throw here. It comes off of Kieran, up to Waza. He's tackled and that's a free kick. We certainly weren't getting those kind of decisions earlier on. We are now and we'll take them. Anyway, it's Nolsey that sends the ball into the box. It's a looping one which the keeper gets a hand to. It comes out to Kieran who heads it back. But unfortunately, Jamie can't keep it in to keep the attack going. The clock's running down and there's hardly any time left as Liam plays the ball up to too good. He sees the overlap of Nolsey. Nolsey fires it into the box straight away. It comes off the defender, goes past the post and that's a corner. Nolsey swings this one into the box. He's headed away by the defender only as far as Jamie volleys it back into the danger zone. It's bouncing all over the place. But then it comes out to Waza. Oh, fuck that. Nice one, Andrew, and it's a throw from Jamie over that far side. Up to Nick, under pressure from five at this point. He cuts it back, looks to cross it in, but instead he gets away from number five, makes his way towards the edge of the box, swings it in there, and on the end of it is Kieran. Oh, fuck me. Narrowly wide, and that was pretty much the last chance of the game. Goal kick's taken by the keeper, up towards the halfway line. Rising above the rest is Kieran to send it back in the same direction. Nick picks it up now, on the turn. Spots Nolsey on the overlap there as he looks to get it in. It's cleared up rather than out by number three. And it's out towards that far corner where it seems like an eternity to come down, but it eventually does, and it's with Nolsey, as he's under pressure from number four here. He's got Nick and Jamie in support, but instead he opts to cross it. Oh. Oh. We'll go to him in a second, but you're not going to believe this. Four! Four! Unbelievable! There's a fan on the pitch, they're all diving over him. I don't know who scored it, I, I think I don't care. And he's put it in the back of the net. It's 4-4. Four, four. Nice one, Phil. Kick off. And so it's number 14 that looks to take the ball forward. It's tackled by Michael, he's still got the ball. It's tackled by Kieran, and that's brought back for a free kick. Not quite sure why he's rolling around on the floor though, because there was no studs into fires and certainly no heads into posts. Anyway, the free kick's launched into the box by number three. No one goes for it, and that's out for a goal kick. And following that goal kick, that was full time. Mixed emotions really, we came here to win, so as far as we're concerned, we've dropped two points. However, to come back from 4-1 down, we showed a bit of fight and got something out of it in the end. So that, my friends, is that. As always, thank you for your support, and we'll see you in the next one. So the trip for Atletico Madrid Madrid wasn't too bad today, just a couple of hours on the plane, then a whisk round the M25 and Bob's your uncle, we're here to play some Sunday league football. His handshakes all round and then we're ready to go.